Chinese scientists have unveiled a groundbreaking light-based quantum computer known as Juzhang 3.0, setting a new world record in terms of detected photons. Developed under the leadership of Chinese physicist Pan Jianwei, this quantum computer boasts 255 detected photons, a significant leap from Juzhang 2.0 with 113 photons, and the original Jiaseng quantum computer with 76. According to Chinese state media, Juzhang 3.0 is a quantum marvel, a million times faster than its predecessor Juzhang 2.0. When it comes to solving Gaussian boson sampling problems, a mathematical model suited for quantum computation, this remarkable feed allows Juzhang 3.0 to compute the most complex Gaussian boson sampling samples in just one microsecond, a task that would take the world's fastest supercomputer, Frontier, more than 20 billion years to complete. Published in the Physical Review Letters, this groundbreaking study led by Pan's team opens doors to new possibilities for quantum computing. Pan Jianwei believes that quantum computers have the potential to provide unparalleled computing power for specific applications such as code deciphering, big data optimization, weather forecasting, material design, and drug analysis. It's worth noting that comparisons between different quantum computers should be made with care, as they are both using diverse approaches. There are three primary types of quantum computers, electron-based, superconducting, atom-based, cold atom or trapped ion, and photon-based or light-based. In a survey conducted by management consulting firm Arthur D. Little, approximately 40% of technology experts believe that electron-based quantum computers will succeed most in the next decade, followed by 35% for atom-based and 26% for photon-based quantum computers. While major tech giants like Google and IBM focus on superconducting quantum computers, Smaller firms tend to explore photonic ones. Prominent photonic quantum computer makers include SciQuantum, United States, Orca Computing, New Quantum, and Tenor Systems Global, United Kingdom, Xanadu, Canada, and Quandela, France. China relies on Pan's team at the University of Science and Technology of China, USDC, in Hefei to develop photonic quantum computers. Within the realm of light-based photonic quantum computers, two approaches exist for creating the light sources, single photon and squeezed lights each with its unique characteristics. Gaussian boson sampling, the task performed by Juzhang 3.0, involves photons in different positions and squeezed states being manipulated through beam splitters and phase shifters, leading to a doubling of the quantum computer speed for each additional detected photon. While Juzhang 3.0's achievements in boson sampling are noteworthy, some scientists, like Scott Aronson, suggest that boson sampling may not become a form of universal quantum computing. However, Gaussian boson sampling could find applications in molecular docking, aiding pharmaceutical drug design by matching different pairs of molecules. In recent years, Juzhang has seen multiple iterations, with Juzhang 1.0 being the first light-based quantum computer, Juzhang 2.0 with 113 detected photons, and now Juzhang 3.0 with 255 detected photons. Innovations, including a newly developed superconducting nanowire single photon detection scheme, have played a pivotal role in achieving these milestones. The development of superconducting nanowire single photon detectors has implications for quantum technology. While the origin of China's SNS-BDS remains undisclosed, they were initially demonstrated by the United States' National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, and Raytheon's BBN Technologies in 2005. Commercially available detectors can cost around 100,000 euros and require ultra-cold temperatures to operate. The field of quantum computing continues to evolve, with discussions about quantum computing, export controls, and restrictions on investments in China's quantum and semiconductor sectors playing a significant role in international geopolitics.